My bangs are looking so crazy. I'm so sorry. Hey guys, it is me, Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. For today's video, I am so excited to have another one for you guys. I'm going to be doing a fall book haul. I know in my last video, I said I wasn't going to be doing a book haul, or I didn't really want to only do a book haul, but... I did have a ton of books I wanted to show off, but also I did buy a few and I feel like a lot of these I really actually want to read and potentially do reading vlogs for. That's a huge goal of mine is to start doing reading vlogs because I personally love watching them, so I want to start doing them for myself. But I am going to be showing you guys the most recent books a part of my collection and before we jump into it very momentarily, I just want to thank you guys so much for the feedback I received on my last video. I knew it, I really felt in my soul that you guys were always there for me and I really do appreciate every kind word, thoughtful message, a like, anything. Just I appreciate it so much and I'm so so happy to be back and although I did film that video a couple weeks ago I do feel entirely different and like I said I think life is just a journey and I'm just trying to show you guys mine and also talk about our love for books. So let's get on to the new books I have in my collection. So I'm going to first talk about the books I bought from Barnes Noble. The Barnes Noble by my house actually closed down so the only one I really have by me as of currently is one by a mall and then this one which is by my school so this is kind of like a university Barnes and Noble but the first book I picked up was actually for a class I am in a English evolution class which is very specific I know but it's kind of interesting to say the least we've been reading a lot of different novels and articles and short stories that feature the idea of evolution natural selection and more specifically focusing on on Darwin's um, Origin of Species. So this is called The Water Babies. It is from Charles Kingsley. This was a 19th century children's novel and if you have ever read this book it's kind of astonishing the fact it is one. The next two books I got because I only got three these are the ones that I definitely wanted to pick up. The first one I got is called Sorcery of Thorns and this is from Margaret Rogerson. I have never heard of this book but I was browsing Barnes and Noble just opening books up and seeing what kind of intrigued me. It essentially features obviously sorcerers and this idea in this world where I believe either she is getting wrongfully charged for something or she's a part of something that the government or the social class system is trying to stop them against. So I'm excited to see this world. I read some really positive reviews. I tried not deep diving too far but I did see a lot of people did enjoy this book and I believe this is the first part of a series. It is just a really nice hardcover book and I felt like I hadn't really bought or ventured into a bookstore in a while so that definitely caught my eye. And then the one book I knew I was getting no matter what and I'm currently actually reading is called Pan's Labyrinth, The Labyrinth of the Fawn. I believe there is a movie attached to this. I'm not entirely sure really anything about this. One of my favorite authors of all time is quoted on the back of this book, which also caught my eye. The imagery in this book is beautiful. The actual book itself is just so eye-catching. I love the sleeve cover. I love the internal sort of details. The attention to detail is beautiful. It's such a, a pleasant experience to read this book and I've been really enjoying it so far. I love sort of the child-esque um, way it's being written as a fairy tale or folk tale itself, but it has a lot of different embedded themes and messages and tones and there have been some beautiful quotations in this book as well. I've heard fantastic things about this book and I am very excited to finish it and hopefully I will get a review out for you guys. So those are all the books I actually bought these past couple of months. I only bought one book in September and then the two this month or this past month in October but I actually did receive one book as a gift. This is called Gold Dust Women and this is the biography of Stevie Nicks. If you don't know, I am such a fan of Stevie Nicks and specifically I love Fleetwood Mac as well. She is one of my favorite artists of all time. I think she is just so classy and can do no wrong in my eyes. She's so talented. So 
one of my best friends, Laura, and I love Stevie Nicks so much. We bonded over that love and she was my roommate last year. And so I actually got to see her, I want to say last week or two weeks ago, and she actually gave this as a gift to me. So I am so excited to read it. I didn't even know she had a biography out. I have seen sort of the TV documentary that was on and featured her and she has lived such a fascinating life so i cannot wait to read this so the next thing i see is from entangled publishing and it says it is from <gasps> sarah wolf oh oh my god okay so one of my favorite books of 2018 was bring me their heart by sarah wolf and i think this is <gasps> oh Oh my god, I actually might cry. This is so sweet. First of all, I see a letter that says my name, but then it also has, if I can show it, a bookmark, like one of those metal bookmarks that has my full name and it's spelled right. You know how hard that is? Oh my god, it's beautiful. I love Rose Gould too. I am freaking out. Wait, this is so nice. Oh my god, I'm so excited to read this. Wow, I didn't know I received this. I was emailed and asked if I wanted to receive the ARC, but I didn't know if I actually was going to just because I have been on hiatus. But I am so excited. Yet again, I'm going to leave the review for Bring Me Their Hearts Back. Is it up here? I feel like I would have her up here. No? I am like spazzing out right now, guys. I'm freaking out. Where is it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is it. Bring me their hearts. So good. One of my favorite books, not even just of 2018, but like of all time. I just loved it so much. I really want to reread it, especially now that I have this. Along with it is Boom Chicka Pop, which Boom Chicka Pop, A+. plus. This is the new cover. It is on sale as of now. It was actually just released two days ago, so November 5th. These are the two books side to side. I'm so excited because the ending of this, if you read it, you know how I feel about it. And I need to read this ASAP. So I think I'm going to honestly reread Bring Me Their Hearts and then read that. I think I'm going to finish Pan's Labyrinth then get on to bring me their hearts and then get on to find me their bones. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Along with that, I don't know if I actually said anything, but they gave me some flash tattoos and a pin, which is really nice. We have a couple other packages. These are all from Bloomsbury. So let's see what's inside so the first book they sent my way is a heart so fierce and broken and this is from bridget kemmer this is actually the sequel to a curse so dark and lonely i believe this was a beauty and the beast retelling if i remember correctly and i've heard actually phenomenal things about this one it came out earlier in january and this one actually doesn't come out until january 2020 this is another one i definitely do want to kind of get one review out and get another review out but let me know if you guys would like to see a reading vlog maybe of these two as well i feel like maybe i want to do like series reading vlogs or something of that sort because i feel like if i just do a vlog only on one book i won't feel as fulfilled but if i finish like a series or catch up on a series like this i feel like that would be so fun moving along the next one we have i need to open it up i always wait until i film these videos to open them up and then i'm like oh it takes so long so the book they sent my way is called We Are Blood and Thunder, and this is from Kesia Lupo. I believe that's how you pronounce the author's first name. If not, I do apologize. It says, she who spins the clouds weaves the storm, and the cover is not final. I wonder if they finalized it as of now. It doesn't come out until March 3rd, 2020. And it says, in this sweeping YA fantasy set in a world plagued by devastating storms, two girls, one running away, one returning home, find their magical fates entwined. I just, I feel like everything I'm picking up I want to read. And then the final book Bloomsbury sent my way is called All the Invisible Things, and this is from Orla Collins. This is a YA contemporary novel that doesn't come out until March 3rd, 2020. It follows these two girls and... They are best friends and one is trying to figure out who they are and they're struggling with who they are and whether coming out is the right decision on being truthful to her friend. So 
I will definitely be checking this out as well. The next box I have is a big one and this one probably gives me the most guilt for just because I really wish I had posted a entire separate video on and I really took the time to unbox this. This will be kind of a quick unboxing, unboxing, <laughs> unboxing than what I actually wanted to do for them. But this is the Fairy Loot box. This was their first collector's edition box they brought out, which features the third and final book in the Carval series from Stephanie Garber, which is called Finale, I believe. So I have never experienced the collector's box. This was the first one they brought out. They have brought out a couple of others from then. Um, I have actually a discount code with them, which is always in the description box, but if you are interested in fairy loot, they are probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite book subscription services. I really love everything I get in their boxes, and also it's so nice. The experience is just, it's unlike any other subscription box, truly. So this is the box. If I end up putting her down, please don't hate me. The attention to detail alone in this box is beautiful. I love the flowery, not flowery, what the heck? The starry sort of butterfly scenery. It says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And I will actually put her down because she is heavy. The first thing I see is called a book sleeve. It features one of our main characters in the series. I have not read that book in so long. I remember I received an ARC at BEA and I was so excited. And I really did actually enjoy the book. I know a lot of people, it was like a hit or miss, but I loved the world. I did feel like it was a little confusing. I haven't reread it in a while but I definitely was interested to see how it continued and I have yet to pick up the sequel but I really want to and what is this so they actually included a blanket which is so cool okay this is so soft oh my god this is such a soft blanket what the heck oh I'm assuming it has him on the front oh wow okay will I be able to show this off maybe Look how cool that is. Their attention to detail, guys, you can't make it up. Like, this is so cool. This is like straight out of the book. I feel like if you were such a fan of this book, this would have been the perfect box. Like, I feel like if you were interested in their collector edition boxes, especially for books that might, of course, interest you or something that you find you're passionate in, then definitely pick it up because they go full out with the boxes. Next, they included a little Pop Funko figure of Legend. That is his name. Oh my god, Jacqueline, you're so silly. Yet again, I haven't read the book in like two years, but this is so cool and it even has his name right here on the stand so he's gonna go up here with Hagrid. So the next thing I see is a candle. It is called Midnight Maze. It says flowers, magic, and spring rain. It looks really pretty. It has like glitter. Oh it does! Ooh, It definitely has like a slight florally but mostly like soapy clean scent. I don't mind it though, I like it. It's like a nice clothing detergent. <laughs> Next I see a mug, which is the finale inspired mug. It says artwork by Saul Tees and lettering by Katrina Book Designs. I feel so bad I'm not saying who created what, but I'm just trying to rush through it, not in a bad way. I just don't have enough time for that. This is stunning. I really love this artwork. It's so beautiful. Yet again, the attention to detail, Fairy Loot always goes really hardcore when it comes to customizable accessories and pieces for each book or theme that they're going with. And that's why I feel like they're definitely one of those brands that if you are interested in a book subscription service, they truly are worth it. Next, we have two pins. One says, everyone gets one impossible wish, and the other says, remember, it's a game. Next, I see a thing of playing cards, and this is called the Fates Playing Card which is inspired by the characters featured in the novel and it involves the character arts which feature four different fates so this is kind of cool I feel like this is a whole different game in itself which is so fun this I don't know what this is so we're gonna open her up and see do, 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 do. I'm assuming Ooh, what is this these are all different characters featured in the series 
and they all have their own magnetic bookmarks that is so adorable i also love how the characters are still featured on the back of the bookmarks as well then we have a necklace and it is a playing card necklace it is an ace card and then we have a chapstick which says a kiss worth dying for i wonder what this is let's see if it says it it's a lip balm Ooh, it smells so good kind of smells like sweet or fruity don't mind if I do I kind of needed some hydration it is such a cold day that's why I'm in a sweatshirt it's so cold outside right now and I know I'm a baby I don't care also this artwork is so stunning like wow I love it save the best for last to say the least this is a limited edition version that I also got along some paper bookmarks and some character cards as well wow this is beautiful oh wow we have a handwritten note i love the black with sort of this rose gold tone and glitter and you can kind of feel the texture a little bit that is sick oh my god i love the black pages i love when the actual pages are differently designed as well i think it looks so stunning i like the white on the back and i like the black and white spine this is a beautiful book so i didn't realize i actually had two other books that i bought but these i bought all the way back in spring they were hiding under some other packages so the first book i have is hg wells the time machine i actually just reread this for my evolution class that i'm taking right now so funny enough i have read this twice and I don't think I need to read it anytime soon for a third time, but it is known as being the first time traveling novel and it is said to be one of the first science fiction novels. It's interesting to say the least, yet again, nothing I feel like I need to reread. I did a whole paper talking about the Eloy and the Murlocs and all that stuff. So if you've read that book, you understand what I mean by that. And then next I have The Absentee from Maria Edgeworth. Now this is featuring the Irish absentees, which is part of the history in which Irish citizens would actually leave their lands, their lots in Ireland and go to Britain to try to work and gain notoriety and bring in financial wealth. I believe there was some sort of system that they had in place when it came to their currency change and exchanges. It was interesting to say the least just because this was relevant in terms of history but this is definitely a book that I am not expecting to reread anytime soon. I did not enjoy the experience to say the least. I swear we are coming to an end. I feel like I've been doing this for so long but the next book I have is called The Wicker Light and this is from Mary Watson. This comes out at the end of this month, November 26th. It says, Thrilling, atmospheric, and filled with ancient magic, the lyrical novel set in the world of the Wren Hunt is perfect for the fans of Maggie Sefader and Melissa Albert. I have not heard anything about this. If you guys have, please let me know what you thought of it down below. Next one I have is from Entangled Publishing, which that was from Bloomsbury, by the way. And this one is called Ask Me Anything, and this is from Molly E. Lee. So this is a contemporary novel in which our main character is trying to take over the sex education and implement different rules and different regulations, and she's kind of breaking through a fourth wall by starting a blog and being more open and honest with it while the academy is not. And then the final package we have is from Source Books. Let's open her up as I struggle to. I don't know why I always refuse to grab something to open these packages with, and then I just blatantly rip them to shreds. Yay! Please open! This is the second book, a part of the Furry Born series, which is right here. What a stunning cover! Oh my god! I forgot I had playing cards on top of it. That was so scary. This is such a beautiful covered series. Oh my god, stunning. I've yet to read this, but this is the second book. It's called King's Bane by Claire Legrand. Wow, 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 wow. Along with the sequel, they actually included the first book, a paper copy. So since I have a hardcover, I will be doing a giveaway for this book. I just don't know if you guys want it on here, on Twitter, 
we'll figure it out and I will definitely be doing this video in the future. So these are all the books I have to haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!